in this video we're going to focus on how we can add up a new task in here so for example I have this new task so say task number 10 and this is done by ABC and we're going to select here the date let's say this will be from 1 all the way to the 31st of October and we say this is pending at the task and you can see here we have this of course it's not 100% correct however if we start to search now you can see here it is being shown and it will of course uh, reposition itself we'll fix that issue later on but we're going to focus on building this structure to insert data first so let's continue on now and let's put in this input here so we can add up tasks in here and this is part nine of course so let's scroll down here and the first thing what we need to do here is well let's put a break here and then we can put another break and normally you should put a padding here or something like that but that's all right i'm just making it fast the focus here is not on css and another break and the reason why i'm doing this break here if i save this right now so we have some space between here and then what i need is to create an input so we're going to put in a few inputs and the structure of this will be identical to this or at least what we need are basically in here so we have here first of all let's get this input I'll just grab this put that in there and we can say here maybe this is the date or let's make it text first because we should have the task name and this can just be removed because we don't need any function in here we we'll just say here this and then we say here ID equals task name and that's the first one so then we have another one here this will be just the date and we can say here uh, or maybe not task name name task I like to use the task as the last term and then we say here start date task and then we have another one and that will be the end date task there we are then we have another task or task and this task will be the let's see here with the name so let's say here the team member task basically who we are assigning it to and this should be of course a text and finally we have the status task where we can define the status of this specific task and this should be not an input i realize it should be a option so we say oh sorry select and then we have to select here with this ID, all right, and put it in here between an option. An option we say value equals zero for delayed or something like that, or it doesn't make any sense if it's delayed. If we're going to add it in here, well, who knows? Let's put it in here. Number this will be pending, and finally we have complete. Although if you would put the task in there. Maybe complete should not be in here because why would you put it in then? Anyway, maybe just for registration. Anyway, doesn't matter too much on the logic on this. The most important part here is basically to make sure that we have these. So we have the options here. Finally, we should have a button. And this button would just indicate the insert of all this data. So we're going to say here, um, on click add task and then that will be of course like that that's a function and then we say here add task or task so let's grab this go down here all to the bottom and then what I want to do here is make a function and this function here will be called add task and then what I want to do is first of all I want to get the ID of every of these items that we uh, define here so luckily the names are quite easy with the name task start date task let's grab this team member task and status task all right so we're going to say a constant this equals document dot get element by id and i think most people should know this already so i will not explain this too much so we just get the element of that id we have to start task uh, hold on i need to oh my goodness i just need to grab this all right two three four five so then we say here um this should be the end date this should be the team member i'm not sure if i put member with caps locks and then we had here the status and finally we had the name of the task 
So we can grab this, put that in there. Status, status, sorry, status task. All right. I uh, guess I need some coffee. All right. So we've got this here. We have all of that. Now, then let's go up here again. I just want to look again. What was the team member task? Team member task, caps locks. Beautiful. All right. So now we have this here. I want to just put this up here and I realize we should have that structure that I am missing. So I'm going all the way up again, my bad. Let's go up here, this structure. I want to grab this structure and go back here down. So what I really want to do here is insert this like that. And all we have to do is to do that. I want to insert it where exactly? I want to push it into the, well, basically where we get that data here again in here. So it will be from chart to data, from data to data sets, index zero, and then the data here. So let's start and do this. So we're going to say here my chart dot data dot data sets index zero as I indicated dot data. And then we can say here dot push. And normally push will uh, trigger to put this at the very last value. But sometimes, or in this case, I noticed even though it is the last value, in chart here, it will not show on the last value, it show, tend to show here up. Anyway, doesn't matter so much for now. But what I want to do here is we have this push data. So this here now needs to extract all of those items. So what I'm going to do here, task name. And what we can do with the task name, we have here the task name. That's the y value dot value. This is very important because I want the value attribute. I, I think I don't have to explain that here anymore because these are quite a topics so this is the start date we want as well I'm going to put that in here dot value because it's already a date structure for us that we need here for the other array value we're going to say here the end date start date and date task we have the team member task that will be this here dot value finally the status task dot value so once we did this, it will push this value and push usually pushes a value into the very end of the array. And then what we want to do is my chart dot update. Save that. Refresh. All right. Now let's try it. Say test number 10. Select date. And let's say we're going to grab from 27 all the way to the 30th. And this is the name. Uh, let's say James is responsible for this and it's pending at and as you can see here we get this really interesting item here all right so the color here is not really showing if we do here a uh, item so I wonder what happened exactly so this is James all right so I I guess it's being pushed at the very uh, very beginning but this structure here is correct and this one is not so if I put here 11, you can see here, and I will make this red by delay. And I'm going to give it another date and I'm going to add up here. There you are. So you can see here, there's something very, very interesting happening here. While the structure is in here, but if I do a console log, I do notice that it is slightly different. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to just grab this data set here. I want to see what is going on. For now, save, refresh, and then I'm going to say ABC, select the date, and then here, uh, Jane, well, don't call Jane, that's the ABC name. Task is delayed, so it should be a red color. As you can see, here, this is red, task is delayed, it shows all the dates correctly, but it should be here basically. So, what we have to do here eventually to push that down, or we have to see why is it not being recognized. So what is happening here, the date, task one, ABC is here, but status is a string value. All right, so let's go up here. Let's fix that first. That's number one, and then after probably we need a separate video for the other fix. So what I want to do here is value this. All right, we can just put in here. Uh, I need to convert this into a number value I just need to look what that term is uh, is integer something like that all right I already figured out it's just 
cars int which basically means which is logical because parse means to make something uh, readable for so we want to make it readable for the integer number so if i save this refresh we should have at least here a proper response on those so there we are select something like that delayed there we are we get this one and i see here that it's even in the um what is that this is even in december so if i select you know december all right it was the same date so that's not allowed of course one two three one two three let's add this one and now go back to december or is it in october oh sorry my bad it was october i was looking at this as 12 as december but of course the month is first and then we have the date so we can see here this should be here all right this works nicely i'm i guess is that because of the integer let's look at the data here we have the statuses as well let's let me just cross check this again let's make this task 999 and that will be from 24 all the way to the 2nd of november and this is a no let's put it off add up here so once i do this but then if i filter it interesting it goes down so that means that it's being pushed up for some reason and then we have to go down here so there will be something i will cover probably in the next video to figure out what exactly this is